Welcome. So what I have here uh, in store is to go in and show you y equals negative 4x squared. Now this is going to be a, a quadratic that's in the form of y equals ax squared. And remember when we have a quadratic in the form of y equals ax squared, we know that our axis of symmetry is going to be 0. And that's going to be very important for us to be able to determine uh, what coordinates we're going to place, uh, what coordinates we're going to find to graph our quadratic. So going back, remember we have an x and a y axis. All right, so we're going to first get that set up. So we have here's our y-axis and here's our x-axis. Now, so in this case, we have y equals negative 4x squared. So what I'm going to do is I need to take a set of points that I'm going to use to graph what my quadratic, or what we call the form of a quadratic, the graph of it, a parabola, is going to look like. So I'm going to have a set, I'm going to create a table of x and y coordinates. Now, again, remember, since we have our quadratic equations in the form of y equals ax squared, we can now go ahead and take a look at, one, what is this shape going to look like? But then also take a look at, wow, that is a horrible rectangle. All right. But now what we can do is we can choose our points. And since I said the, lot, the axis of symmetry is at 0, that's going to be the first point I'm going to choose for my x. Then from that axis of symmetry, what we're going to do is I'm going to choose two points to the left and two points to the right. So the points I'll pick, I'm just going to keep this easy. I'll use negative 1, negative 2, and then I'll use positive 1, and positive 2. So now, to be able to figure out, I know what the x-coordinates are. So I just chose my x-coordinates that I'm going to use. But now I need to determine what the y-coordinate is. Because remember, every point of a quadratic equation, or of a graph, is made up of an x and a y-coordinate. So if I'm, if I'm choosing the x, I now need to figure out what the y-coordinates are. So to find out the y-coordinates, I'm now what I'm going to do is plug in that coordinate into the equation. So when I can plug this in, now I can get a value for my y. So negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Now I plug in negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Positive 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Then we have y equals uh, negative 4 times 0 squared. 0 squared is 0. 0 times negative 4 is 0. Then we have y equals negative 4 times 1 squared. Well, 1 squared is 1. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. And then we have y equals negative 4 times negative 2 squared. Uh, that's a power, sorry, positive 2. Positive 2 squared is going to be 4. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Now notice, ladies and gentlemen, how it didn't matter if I was using the negative or the positive value of this. I still got my same end result. And that's going to be very important when we look at this axis of symmetry. So the first thing we need to do, though, is graph our coordinates. So um, I chose x values of 0, negative 1, and negative 2, and positive 1, and positive 2. And I know this is going to go a little bit longer down, so I'm going to extend this. So at negative 2, if the x coordinate is negative 2, that means my y coordinate was negative 16. So I go over negative 2, and now I need to go down negative 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, Then I go negative 1 down negative 4. So negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 0, over 1. Positive 1, negative 4. And then positive 2, negative 16 again. And what's really important for you guys to see is that these values that were exactly the same, one was the negative, one was the positive, and they're on opposite sides of our axis of symmetry. So this axis of symmetry is going to be this dotted line that is pretty much going to split our parabola directly in half, where our graph is now going to be symmetrical on the left side as it is on the right side. I'm not really doing my best here to do that. And then we notice is this graph is going to continue to keep on going down. So to represent that, I'm going to draw little arrows. So that's what our graph of our parabola is going to look like when we have y equals negative 4x squared. And you can see that we have our axis symmetry. Next thing is, let's go and write on a couple of other important points of this uh, quadratic equation, this parabola graph. The first one is the vertex. Remember, the vertex is either going to be the maximum point or the minimum point of your graph. Well, we don't have a minimum point because this graph is going to continue down to infinity. But we do see, as, kind of going up on the, as we're traveling up from this graph, we can see we kind of reach a top, a top point at the point 0, 0, and then we start going down. So therefore, the maximum point of this graph, which we call our vertex, is going to occur at 0, 0. And one thing for us to notice is, whenever we have a graph that's in this form, y equals ax squared, our vertex, either if it's a maximum or a minimum, will always be at our 0, 0. 
Then we have an axis of symmetry. And if you remember, I told you at the beginning our axis symmetry is going to be at 0. It's going to be at x equals 0 just because I knew that it was in this format. Well, and that's also the case. You can see that y, when x equals 0, that's the line that splits our graph in half. So our axis symmetry is x equals 0. And then last but not least, we need to look at our x and our y intercepts. Where does the graph cross or touch our x and our y intercepts? Well, you can see that the x and y intercepts for all equations that are in y equals ax form are going to be at 0, comma, 0. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph another equation, now with a negative a. Um, you could see now in this case, you could say a equals negative 4. But still, it's in our format, our equation of y equals ax squared. There's another example. Thanks.